Good morning. I'm waking up now, and this is how I start my Saturday morning. Now I have finished making my bed. What was once a mess is no longer a mess. Watch. Now I will go into the kitchen and find something to eat. Yum. Here I am in the kitchen, wondering what I should have to eat. But I'm going to have the rosale, the, the arroz con leche that my dad made on Tuesday. Sure, it's leftovers, but leftovers in my house is much better than having to make something new. I, fi I finally finished eating. I, my arroz con leche that I was planning to eat wasn't good no more, so I had some of my mom's famous spaghetti. I think someone came home. Let's go. Good morning, Mommy. Hi, Daddy. Hi, mija. That was my dad. Before I brush my teeth, there's one more family member in my family that you guys haven't met. And that is my dog, Niles. <laughs> That's my doggy. See? <laughs> my teeth. Now the last thing that I do is, well, the second to last thing that I do is get dressed. So from wearing what I'm wearing right now, which are my pajamas, and as you can see, they're, they're funny pajamas. I heart funny pajamas. So from wearing footy pajamas, I'm going to get dressed into what I'm going to wear to golf. You'll see. I've woken up, made my bed, eaten, brushed my teeth, and I've gone and changed. From my footy pajamas to swishy pants, tennies, and layered shirts. The next thing I do is get my golf clubs out, which are already out. And then I go into the garage and get a jacket. And after I get a jacket, I go into the living room, put my jacket on, and I also get my rubber bands so my mom can brush my hair. And after that, I am ready to, and after that, I'm ready to leave the house, my beautiful house, no, I'm just kidding, and go to golf. So that is basically how my morning is on Saturdays. And that's what I do. While I wait for my mom to get ready so she can take me to the golf course, I like to watch television or play with my doggy. See? Say hi, Niles. Say hi. This is what me and my Niles do. <laughs> Come on, let's show. Oh no. And sometimes, when it's nice weather outside, I like to go in our backyard and look at all our fruit trees. And since it rained last night, it still has some of um, some of the water drops still. Look. That's our persimmon tree. This is in a Royal Blenheim apricot tree. These are chili peppers really spicy um this is rosemary i think I'm not sure corn who doesn't love corn and over in the back 
we have more stuff. This tree gives guayabas. Guayaba is a fruit from Mexico. Lemon tree. And then we have caña, which is sugar cane. And we have little chili plants here. We are now on our way to the golf course where my mom will drop me off and then pick me up at 12. Why? Because then I will go to knitting with her. And you'll be able to see what I do when I don't go to Girls Only. Hi. Arriving to the first tee, Maria's chauffeur. We're here! Now it's time for me to get off the, this car, get my golf clubs, and go to Brady class. Oh, it's cold. What does it feel like? Dry. It's damp. Dry. Dry. <laughs> We're going to play. We're going to play on course now. Does the water leave the ground harder or softer? Harder. Softer. Here goes Mario with a chip shot on the first hole. Good shot. We just came back from playing two holes and now we're going to write in our binders that we have and keep. Girls only class finished and I'm on my way to knitting where I will knit my socks and talk to people. We have finally arrived to Beverly's Fabrics where my mother teaches a knitting class. Now we're going upstairs to where everybody is. Can I see your binder? She's back! Uh-oh. Of course. Knitting is now finally over. So from here we will go to the house, to our house and see what my dad is doing. Now we are on our way home in our car. And once we get home, we'll probably talk with my dad and see what we're going to do for dinner. We are now home and my doggy Niles, Niles, Niles is so excited to see me. This is how he always reacts when we come home. In the mail, in the mail today, we just got a progress report for my grades for the second semester. And look, straight A's. And all O's. I also got a comment. Comment number five, performance improving. And this is the second time I've gotten straight A's. And I know that I will always keep these grades up. We have finally decided where we're going to eat at. And because I got straight A's for the semester, we're going to go to Foster's Freeze. Right? Yes. Every time we get her grades, she gets a treat. So this time it's Foster's. A treat. Not a bribe, a treat. It's 5.20 and I'm about to pick up trash from the rooms. We just came back from Foster's and I had a old-fashioned burger with some fries and ketchup. Um, today we pick up trash and tomorrow we decide to clean house. And so after I pick up all the trash from all the rooms, um, well, I'll read or practice violin. You'll see. I will now go into the living room and start to read. After two hours and 15 to 20 minutes, I have finished reading. I have to read an hour a day on the weekend and during the week for part of my English homework. So I read an hour for yesterday, an hour for today. And the 15 minutes, I was just in a good part and I didn't want to really stop. 
so that's what I do after I finish, I finish helping my mom with stuff around the house. And then after that, I usually change into pajamas, which I'll do next, and just lounge around. I've changed into my pajamas, and if you're wondering what type of pajamas I usually wear to bed, then I know the exact person who you should ask what type of pajamas I wear to bed. And that person is my mom. So mom, what type of pajamas do I wear to bed? Footy pajamas. They're flannel. They have feet on them. They're the kind you wear when you were a baby. That is correct. I wear footy pajamas to sleep. See? But they keep you so warm. And they keep me warm at night. I actually get overheated when I'm under my blankets. But that's better than getting frostbite. At least that's what I think. Until a few more minutes, I will go to sleep. So, I'll see you in my room. Of course, there are some members in my family that go to sleep before my mother and I do. And that's my dad. As you can see, he's already falling asleep. And of course, the cutest thing ever, Niles who usually jumps up, as you can see, he jumps up onto my dad's, onto my dad's lazy boy chair, and then he, well then he sleeps there, and they sleep together. My dad has the television on, but usually the television watches him. And then that's when he wakes up and says, Ya vamos a dormir mi naitos. Which means, let's go to sleep. See you later. Good night. Good night.